Senator Bernie Sanders said some really interesting things in a new interview with CBS. And as much as I'd love to show you the video footage, unfortunately, CBS is very strict when it comes to copyrights on YouTube videos. So I've got the next best thing for you, an article for The Hill where he talks about, wait for it, a potential 2024 presidential run. So The Hill writes, Senator Bernie Sanders on Monday said he hadn't yet decided whether he will make another bid for the White House. That's a big, you know, I haven't made that decision, Sanders said on CBS Mornings. Asked what he thinks about a potential re-election bid for Biden, Sanders insisted that's his decision. Okay, now I've talked about this before, and I think that whether or not Bernie Sanders decides to run is contingent on whether or not Biden chooses to seek a second term. If Biden chooses to step down after the midterms, most likely, then I do believe that Bernie Sanders will most likely run. Now, I've talked about this before, and I would support Bernie Sanders, enthusiastically so. However, I'm not a, as high on the idea of Bernie 2024 20, as I was a couple of months ago. And that's because... I just don't think that he can win a Democratic Party primary. And I say that not necessarily because I don't think that he has the correct policies. I think that by far he is the most principled progressive that we have. Like he's the only choice who I think is electorally viable and has the record of being consistently progressive on a lot of issues. The problem is that Bernie Sanders just refuses to go on the offensive, right? We saw back in 2020, he was too nice to Joe Biden. He notoriously said repeatedly, Joe Biden is a friend of mine, would not attack his record, would not call him out for his flaws. And I think that that cost him the election. Now, you can blame Obama and the Democratic Party establishment, right? You can blame Obama for convincing all of the moderates to drop out and get behind Joe Biden. You can blame Elizabeth Warren for refusing to back out and endorse Bernie Sanders in order to increase the chances of a progressive winning. But at the end of the day, I think that Bernie Sanders' fatal flaw was not calling out his Democratic Party colleagues. And I think that that cost him. It cost all of us. And I just can't at this moment envision Bernie Sanders changing up that strategy. He's just, he's too nice, right? It's perhaps his greatest attribute, but simultaneously, at least when it comes to politics, one of his biggest flaws. And I just can't see him making it through a Democratic Party primary as ruthless as the media is, as ruthless as other Democrats will be to him if he doesn't actually get more vicious. And two times now we've seen that he's just not willing to go hard enough on Democrats. So I don't want to put myself and my viewers in this predicament where we get our hopes up once again, only to see all of our hopes and dreams crushed. It's just a lot emotionally to go through. It's a lot of money to invest in a movement. I mean, I, I chipped in $27 per month. I encouraged my viewers to send money to him whenever they had a couple of extra bucks to spare. I just, I, I hesitate to go through that again, knowing that Bernie isn't going to do what is needed to actually win it's tough. So, uh, I mean, you all probably are thinking, what the hell? Because I was really high on this idea a few months ago, because who else can run? And I still think that there's not really anyone on the level of Bernie Sanders. But still, at the same time, it's just hard to get excited when you know he's not going to be strong enough. He's not going to be aggressive enough. But having said that, though, to contradict myself, if he were to run I would support him again, enthusiastically so, but I think that this time I would temper my expectations knowing that Bernie just isn't going to do what's needed to win. Now, there's another portion of this interview that I wanted to touch on here because he responded to criticism about his age and Biden's age, and I agree with what he said despite admittedly kind of being concerned about his age myself. He said, look, this is what I think. You can't categorize everybody. You're different than everybody, you know. We're all different. We've got to look at the individual. But what I think we do, guys, is we look too much at race, at gender, at age. What does somebody stand for? What are their views? Do you agree with them, Sanders said on CBS? Quote, and obviously, you want people who are competent, capable, have the energy, I mean, my God, to be president of the United States requires an enormous amount of energy. But I would say, first of all, take a look at what people stand for and we don't do that enough we're too much into personality now on that note i absolutely agree with him i'll admit that it worries me to have these old candidates run so if you have for example a joe biden against a ron DeSantis in 2024 i think that his age is going to be a vulnerability 
like it or not. I think that if you have a Bernie Sanders against someone who isn't equally as old like a Donald Trump, despite him having good populist policies and a winning message, I think that his age will be used against him. And the media certainly will weaponize his age against him. I mean, we saw the way that they did that in 2020, even though you had older candidates like Joe Biden. Now, that's not to say that Biden wasn't criticized because of his age, but Bernie Sanders he really got the brunt of that because, you know, they had other reasons to attack him. Bernie Sanders is a threat to the donor class, right? So I agree with him. I think that we have to prioritize the policy above the personality. However, I don't think that the Democratic Party, their base in particular, agrees with me on that. I think that they want somebody who's going to give them the feels. I think that they want somebody who's young, who's charismatic, who has a good resume, and I hate to say this, but I think that the Democratic Party base would end up supporting someone like Pete Buttigieg, who isn't really substantive. I mean, comparatively speaking, he's more substantive than most Republicans, obviously. But in terms of like comparing him to Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders is just policy focused, whereas Pete Buttigieg, he has a lot of fluff. There's a lot of platitudes to the way that he speaks. So I, I hate that Democratic Party voters would probably opt for someone like that. But again, we don't know. It's a little bit early to focus on that. But either way, getting back to this idea of Bernie running in 2024, I would support him, but I'm not going to get my hopes up this time because I know that Bernie Sanders is too nice to do what is needed to be done to crush his opponents. They're not going to pay him that same courtesy. Even Elizabeth Warren was ruthless and attacked not just Bernie Sanders, tried to smear him as a sexist, but she attacked his supporters saying they were super aggressive, which is just such a low blow. But it's going to happen, and this is part of politics. It's a dog-eat-dog game, and if Bernie Sanders isn't going to play the game on the level that they're playing it, then he's kind of unilaterally disarming and harming himself and his movement by extension. So I would support him with reservations because I don't think anyone else is going to be as good as Bernie Sanders. But in the event there was a progressive that was more aggressive that came along, I may consider supporting them over Bernie Sanders because I just think he's too nice to win. That's my honest thoughts. So, um, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but Bernie may run again in 2024, and it gives me hope for sure. But at the same time, the more that I think this through, the more that I think <sighs> there's got to be somebody else who's more aggressive than Bernie Sanders with the policy substance. But I just, I don't know.